lovelies before we get started with this video i wanted to talk to you guys about this beautiful bag right here now i've had this bag for a couple of months now i'm pretty sure i got it around september ish and when i tell y'all that for one just look at the bag we love a good Dior bag, babe. But my initial review of this bag was that it was great. The amount of space that it has inside of it, it looks like it's small, but the amount of things that you can fit in here, I can fit glasses, my phone, lip gloss, some like a powder, um, my ID and all that, money. Like you would think that it's a small space, but literally there's more and then there's even more space in the back right here that you can put stuff in along with the zipper on the inside. The bag is a 10 out of 10 and I'm going to go ahead and drop the link to the bag along with a discount code as well in my description box below. So go ahead and shop. Hi YouTube, it's Maya and as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be getting into some things dealing with glowing and just looking put together and your skin radiating and even glowing from within too because that's the first step of being glowy babe but yeah we're gonna go ahead and get into it but before we do that i have come to a very real realization because of the fact that i was trying to go with trends for so long and just by trends i mean like vlogging and all those things i'm sorry i'm trying to tweak with the lighting just so i can see how I like it um by trends I mean vlogging I tried vlogging for a while to like get with the trends and see if I liked it but I really don't like vlogging I will go out and be shy with my camera I have really bad social anxiety I can't vlog around other people if I'm around my man if I'm around my mom only time I can really get comfortable with vlogging is if I'm around my friends because we've kind of been in that talking to the camera and doing YouTube and stuff for a while like since we've been little girls so they're the only ones that i really feel comfortable with doing it with but anybody else no and if you want to be a vlogger you have to be comfortable with being around people and talking around people 24 7 so i can't do it so y'all will not be seeing a whole bunch of vlogs on this channel anymore unless it's probably like a maintenance vlog or a travel vlog which fingers crossed i want to start doing a whole lot more of this year but yeah I'm kind of going to get back into what I know, which is my good old sit down videos, hygiene videos, girl talk videos, so I can start back getting into loving what I love about YouTube in the first place because doing vlogs and trying to keep up with that, it's made my love for my craft just, you know, and I don't like that. So we're going to get back to what we know, what y'all love, and what most of y'all subscribe to me for. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, love bugs. So... Ooh. I have been doing a lot of I guess you could say like experimenting with different things I've grown up with skin problems pretty much my whole life I had gotten them back together and like gotten everything like cleared up and everything but then recently like a couple months closer to my birthday I started breaking out bad again and it's still here it's not as bad as it was before but the breakouts are definitely still breaking out but my chest area which i don't know if y'all can see this used to be terrible like it was bad let me see if i can lower y'all just a little bit so it's more here and y'all can actually see what i'm talking about there we go i like this angle better um but yeah so i used to get really bad chest breakouts i used to see people who have like really clear chest and they give like that clean girl aesthetic just by looking there's a piece of hair somewhere and it's about to make me upset just by looking, I don't know, like literally like your chest. There we go. Sorry, y'all. Your chest is like, I don't know, if you don't have something on that's covering you, your chest and your skin, like your face, are the first things that I notice about a person. And when somebody just has a really flawless looking glowy chest, it's like, ooh. Like, I think it's really cute. So, I figured out what to do to get rid of all of the chest acne and bump ups, bump ups, bumps that popped up like on my breasts and stuff like that. So, we're going to get into that first. This right here. Now, I use this on a, I can say like a semi-regular basis. Not like I should, but definitely when I do start using it, you'll think you don't see a difference and then you'll stop using it and then like bumps will start popping back up again. So, I can say that that definitely does work. And if you don't have this, because I know a lot of the times this is sold out in stores because it took me a while to find it. 
nine times out of ten they're gonna have the Neutrogena one and this is what I use for any body acne really I get acne on my chest my arms and on my back when it's like actual like pimples that are popping up like whiteheads and stuff like that and those two things clear them up expeditiously now next up on the list we're gonna go with exfoliating now I know y'all probably don't want to hear this, but tree hut scrubs, they smell nice. They do what they should as far as like getting a little bit of that dead skin off. But if you really want to get a deep, deep scrub, you're going to need some exfoliating gloves. And as far as scrubs go for problem acne skin, I, I'm going to go with this one right here. This bad boy does what it needs to do. I use this on everywhere really where I start seeing like bumps come up when I shave so I use it on my downstairs area make sure you're not getting it in no holes literally only on the top little mound part of your vajayjay my arms and again like up here and sometimes on my legs because I do sometimes get razor bumps there but not always um yeah that I use I use that for this and it smells really good and it's actually like a rough scrub like you're gonna feel the beads like if you're doing that I will literally feel the beads on my feet and they barely like dissolve like the other ones do like really quickly like you're gonna get a good scrub out of that and you pair it with this too it's gonna be even better but I would not say use this on your face they say not to use it on your face so I don't do that I think I did it once and then I saw that it said don't use it on there so then I stopped doing it again this also has 10% AHA in it so when you do use this make sure you're using sunscreen if you're going out because you could get burned that is just a PSA okay now since we're on kind of the topic of like razor bumps and stuff like that i'm gonna go with shaving next because that's the main thing that helps me i feel like glow so i got a new razor recently this my mom literally just gave this to me the other day yesterday or the day before that and when i tell you this is the smoothest shave i've ever had in my life now i used to use the um you guys know those really thick I don't know the brand. I don't know if it's Chic or if it's Chic, whatever you call it, or if it's Venus. Um, but they're really thick razors with the interchangeable like pieces that come with the shaving cream already on them. I used to use those and I used to swear by them. But since I use this because I ran out of my disposable thingy, this is really good. And this is interchangeable as well. You buy the packs and then these just come on and off. And they actually give you a good amount instead of the other one, which being like... 20 something dollars for like a pack of four i don't know how many that is but i know it came with a lot my mom is not a super expensive type of person so she's not gonna buy a whole bunch of these for no 20 something dollars so i'm pretty sure these are cheaper which one this is venus this is venus so i'm just letting you know and then you just like click it off like that and it comes off and then boom snap it back on and when it comes to shaving i honestly use ooh, I honestly use anything to shave. I use the EOS shaving cream. Recently, I started using oil. This oil right here, I got it from um, Marshalls. This is a in-shower exfoliating oil. I don't really know if it works for exfoliating, but I know that it does help with shaving and it gives you a really smooth and close shave as well as it topping as like like what it is like a shower oil so when you get out of the shower you're literally going to be glowy and moisturized and all that good stuff okay next up because of shaving is this i was looking for this product for years like in stores because i always was like no i'm not gonna buy it, it was a little i think it's a little bit expensive i don't think it's too bad but it took me a while to buy it this stuff works so good i use this on my downstairs area because that is where i'm mainly prone to razor bumps there and my underarms if you use this consistently it has like an alcohol mixture with some other stuff in here because it smells really strongly like alcohol your razor bumps will literally go away immediately and this works really good for um kp i forgot the exact strawberry legs it works really good for getting rid of those too i have those from shaving i recommend getting waxed the only reason i have not been getting waxed recently is because that is a lot to keep up with financially and that's just it was just too much for me right now so i've just been very cautious about how i shave if you want to make sure you're not getting razor bumps when you shave especially down there because that is my problem area i only shave going um 
the direction that the hair is growing because if I go the opposite direction I'm gonna get bumps so I never have like a clear um bald shave I can't do that because if I do I will literally get razor bumps I even get bumps sometimes when I get waxes so honestly it's mainly about before care and after care when it comes to getting bumps because you want to make sure that you're taking care of your skin staying hydrated drinking your water is another thing to make sure your skin is glowing and everything along those lines okay Next up on the list, we're going to go with this right here. Now, again, if you are somebody with problem skin like me and you're using your salicylic acid in the shower, once you wash all that off and you want to make sure that it's really soaking into your skin, I have the salicylic acid body spray. I literally go, oop, but yeah, I go like that and then I put it on my back and on my arms and then I pat it dry so it's like soaking in. Once it soaks in a little bit, if it's still like running down, I pat it dry and then you leave it alone after that. Moisturize with something. I moisturize with something unscented or either like an oil and then go on about my day. Period. Okay, 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 okay. Next up, let's see what I want to talk about next we can get into skincare now because your skin is like that first thing that people see you're covered up here boom skin is here you want to still look glowy we're gonna make sure you're looking glowy okay so again I have really bad acne well not really bad but it can get bad I have acne I use this this is the panoxyl and I have oily skin take that into consideration this is the panoxyl um 10% benzoyl peroxide solution now this is a foaming wash it doesn't really foam up that much to me I don't know why but some people say that it can some people say that it doesn't I don't know but that's for oily skin if you have dry or combination skin and your skin is breaking out I you should use the 4% because that is strong I will like start flaking up here and getting dry here and have to use a lot of moisturizer so just be aware of that next up is I'm pretty I don't know if this is a retinol cream I don't know exactly what retinol is but I know this is adapalene I'm pretty sure this is a retinol I put this on my face only on where the acne is so I'll put some right here put some right here and then do it on my forehead and like anywhere else where I see itty bitty bumps and if you use it over time some people skin purges um while they're doing it but that's normal and if it doesn't purge then that's even better but you only use this at night time make sure that you're using sunscreen in the daytime um after you let this sit overnight wash your face in the morning do your regular skincare sunscreen boom and I'll do this wash my face off toner this stuff and then um anything else that I need to like add on top I will add on top okay next up for skin is this this is some um, overnight glow dark spot sleeping cream it's by the company Ren. I've used a good bit of it. Um, this does help with dark spots. This is the only product that I've seen that actually clears my dark spots up like super duper quickly. Put it on in the same places that I have the acne. So like once the acne has gone, nine times out of ten I get a dark spot. Or if I'm trying to pop them, I'll get dark spots. Put it on there, sleep with it a couple of weeks. Gone. Just like that. A brightening toner will also help your skin glow because this will literally lighten any areas where you have discoloration and dark spots and honestly just give your whole face an overall glow. I kind of differ between which ones I use. Some people use a lot of stuff with vitamin C because they said that clears their skin up. I've heard what well, brightens their skin. I've heard that glycolic acid does the same. I'm scared to use glycolic acid on my face but I'll use it like on my underarms to make sure they're smelling good and it helps with um, any discoloration that you may have gotten from shaving I use the ordinary brand kind that one's still in my bathroom I forgot to bring it in here but I'm just telling you guys um yeah that's pretty much all for skin when it comes to glowing if you want to get into makeup and stuff like that I always use a good setting spray because I don't like my skin to look too matte I like kind of like a dewy look like this and a really good highlight make sure you're moisturizing your face before you start your makeup I've been using um this elf holly holly holy <laughs> hydration let me see if I can let y'all see that I got this from Target for I think like 12 maybe $15 at most but I don't think it was that much but yeah I moisturize my face heavily I have oily skin you're not gonna if you really want to mattify your face your face will still be able to be matte I just don't like that look but um 
yeah you can moisturize your skin if you have oily skin your skin's not gonna freak out with moisturization you need to moisturize your skin if you have oily skin that is a must and if you're not wearing any makeup give me one second camera is dying okay and if you're not wearing any makeup and you still want to get that glowy look this is some emu oil now sometimes i moisturize my face with this other times i moisturize with the cerave um daily moisturizer which is this right Ooh, the top just came off but which is this one right here mine is very dirty i've had it for a while <laughs> yeah if you want just a regular skin glow like you just woke up but you want your skin to look really moisturized a little bit of that goes a long way i just put it on along with whatever body oil i have and then your whole body just glows speaking of body oil this is what i've been using as of the last couple of days and as you can see it's on my neck and on my chest and on my arms. I'm glowing. And it smells really, 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 really good. It's the Dr. Teal's Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil. So I'm pretty sure you can use this in the shower. In, yeah, in bath or after bath. So whenever you want to use it, you can use it. I use it afterwards because I feel like it gives that nice little glow to my body. Also, this is for your Yoni or Yoni, whatever y'all call it. I put this on after shaving, sometimes just because if I'm about to be active doing something because it gives a little glow, a little moisture to it, this is what I use. This is by, I'm pretty sure, Goddess of the Sea, but I, I don't know if um, Saw XO has any, but I know I use a lot of her products too. This is the one that I've been using though, and it comes with a whole bunch of cute little herbs in it, and everything it smells kind of like peppermint. I don't know what all is in here. All the ingredients are on here. Mine is just, it's old, so I can't see what all is in there anymore. Um, lastly for oils is a fragrance oil. I also will literally go like that. Rub whatever the oil is in, under ears, boom. And this is just, this is what I like. Because these stay on longer than regular smells do because they'll like just be on your clothes or they'll absorb into your skin because of all the alcohol in them. These are purely just the oil part of the perfume. So the scent is going to be locked into your body. Um, I know there's a couple more things that I had. Okay. This is optional. If you really want to glow, especially because it's winter time. And if you're light like me. You're probably going to want to do this. I don't just because I don't feel tanning is a lot. Like you have to shave beforehand to make sure the tan is even sleeping in it. And then I have white sheets, as you can see. So that's just a no for me right now because I'd have to put on black clothes and just hope and pray that I don't get any on my sheets. But yeah, this is by Jergens. Everybody kind of raved over this last year and I'm pretty sure the year before that. And I haven't used this yet, obviously, but this is a tanning mitt get in there good put the tanner all over you i have not found a good face tanner yet which i need to because that's another thing that prevents me from tanning because i feel like i have to wear makeup after i tan in order to make it match but i know they have a lot of self like self tanning drops and stuff like that if y'all have any that y'all recommend drop them in the comments down below because i need to see them because i need that for when i start back in the spring and summertime but yeah there's one thing that i forgot which was shaving your face now if you really want one your products to absorb really well which i just recently shaved my face probably like a couple weeks ago and i've definitely seen a difference in my skin since i shaved it using products versus when i didn't shave it using products because i'm a hairy girl um your products soak into your skin better which means whatever stuff you're using to make your skin glow and look even and clear up your acne it's going to soak in a lot better if there's no hair to kind of block your pores and everything two it just makes your skin tone look way more even and glowy once you shave your face because there's no little hairs that are kind of like making shadows or anything on your face if you want to get real technical with it you can go get your face dermaplane or a hydrofacial or just a facial period to make your skin glow but that's neither here nor there it depends on your budget your pockets do what you do this is all at home friendly and i'm pretty sure none of these things that i've shown you cost any more than 20 dollars like individually lastly make sure you're doing your inner work you're not gonna look glowy if you're not happy make sure you're journaling drinking your water doing your hobbies things that make you happy do not let a man make you upset and 
wipe the smile off your face make sure you're praying manifesting whatever it is that you do to make you feel happy from within make sure you're doing it times 10 this year because this year is the year for you not about anybody else it's about running your bag up becoming your best version of yourself and glowing from inside out that is going to be it for today's video i'm going to try my best to be more consistent and if you guys like these type of videos or want more sit down glow up fixing your lifestyle like learning to be uh, more independent or any of those type of videos let me know and we will get them done i need to record more because your girl has been bored in the house not doing anything but doing makeup and watching youtube eating so i need something to do with my time that's gonna be it for this video though i love you guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next video